Good day everyone. This is Jake Rodriguez Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to write a C++ program to compute the average grade of five subjects of a student. Before we start, please subscribe click the like button and leave a comment if you like this video tutorial so let's get started first thing first uh, I will write the comment uh, let's say for example the file name of our program is average grade that's CPP the double slash in C++ is a comment and then next I will write my name as the author of this program Jake Rodriguez Pomperada and then we will have a date today is September 27 2019 that is Friday Location Bacolod City Negros Occidental Philippines. Uh, the purpose of having a comment in a C program or any programming language is to give the user or the programmer who will read our program some idea what is the title of the program, who is the author, the date, and then comments on the code, and then some explanation that may be helpful to other pro others programmers that can read your code. Next, we will declare a library file, sharp include iostream Next, we will include also another library file, sharp include iomanip or input output manipulator. We will be using this library file for decimal places in our program using set w or set with int main. The function in C++, the starting point of any C++ program execution and I will ask the user to give grades na. so int uh, science mm, math uh, english line PE physical education then history okay this is the five subjects next we will have float compute grade okay so I initialize with two decimal places. Next, console out to new line. Console out the title of the program. Horizontal tab. Average grade solver in C++. This will be the title of our program. Next, spacing again. Console out enter grade for the sub enter grade for science okay console in right shift operator science to make our life much easier I will copy this one and then paste copy and paste control highlight Control C, Control V. 
and then we just change this one from science to math here my math also in our input copy we will copy this again mark control c control v to paste space Ay, sorry instead of science we have already english english this one is uh, physical education english pe and then the last subject is we can have history 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 now one of the tip that I would like to share with you guys is that when you declare a variable to be used in your program use meaningful names so that it is easier for you to understand what is the purpose of that particular variable and, and its, its content and for other programs that may look at your code it's easier for them to know the purpose of that particular variable also next we will use the assignment operator compute underscore grade and then we will add the variables here cyan i know science plus math plus english plus pe plus history to get the average that simply we will add all the subjects and then how many of them one two three four five just divide to five okay so next we will copy this again okay so we will display no your the average grade is now this portion we will use this command io money for example we want to have decimal places now fix to decimal places set precision 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 to and then Mm. Uh, compute grade in this example we want to have two decimal places uh, for the grade example just for example but most of the time it is in whole number and then here new line horizontal tab end of the program we will terminate with a semicolon the next step is we save our program. Press Ctrl S. Go out here. We will have the average folder. And then we will type here. Average. Gra underscore grade. Dot. CPP. Now the file name of our program is average underscore grade. And then the extension is CPP. And then click the save button. Okay, before we we compile and run our program, let me recap you now the things that we already discussed you now in our program to summarize things. This portion is the comment section of our program. This is the library file. This is the main function, the starting point of the program execution in our C++ program. This is the variables that we declare. This is the assignment statement variable that will hold the value and perform computation. This is the title of our program. This portion will prompt the user to ask grades on several subjects like science, math, English, physical education, and history. This is for the input. Now, for the processing, we will using this assignment statement, compute, under store grade this is the variable and then we have here the formula no? to find the average grade 
and then this is for the display so in this example we want to have two decimal places no to the right of the average grid next we compile no to check if there is some syntax error in our program okay i forgot to write using namespace standard std again let us try again hmm. the problem is i forgot again to put some semicolon hmm. okay so save forget to put semicolon at the end of our statement okay there is no error so let us try to run our program let's say for example 81 uh, our grade in science 87 in math english we can have let's say for example 78 and then we, we are very good in you know, physical education 91 history a little bit average 85 so the grade is 84 no but there are some problem with the formatting so i will try to fix the problem first no uh, uh, horizontal tab mm. okay okay let us save once again we will run our program compile and run okay science maybe we can have 82 83 math 87 English we are not good in English it's 75 just passing grade PE 93 history we are just good at it so the average grade is 85% so I hope guys that you have learned something in this tutorial video in C++ how to write a program that will ask the user for five grades in five subjects like science, math, English, physical, education, and history and then our program will compute for the average grade out of the five subjects so if you like this video tutorial please click the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this uh, video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials thank you very much until the next video tutorial bye bye for now